try anything. It's okay to fail and make bad songs or bad beats. I've made plenty bad beats. That's always been a theme that our parents have drilled in us. We are capable of doing so much and we can figure anything out yep. with ourselves and with our own minds. I think that's kind of why we gravitated yeah. towards each other <laughs> because two brains is like better than one. sister and I got into making beats. I think it just kind of came secondary when we were just writing our original music and our own songs. It was very experimental for us and we kind of just found our way by figuring it out. Yeah, my sister has always been so savvy with technology and so smart, so this type of stuff comes very easy to her. And it's really fun because it's just a creative process in our living room and, mm -hmm. you know, we're just, whatever she plays, I just kind of sing melodies and then we just kind of catch a vibe from there. This is where we create all of our music, guys. Wait, I'm just gonna show you. So like, got our monitor. There we go, keyboard, and then this is where we record everything. So when we first started creating the Song Warrior, we started off with these chords, with this synth. My favorite plugin is Omnisphere. That plugin has the coolest sounding synths that are different and still like familiar in a way. We were throwing out melodies and the melody that came first was the, mm -hmm. I could be euphoria. Yeah, it was literally like, I could be euphoria. Yes, I am euphoria. There's no need to worry though. Look around, it's glorious. Close your eyes and taste the sun. Mm -hmm. And when we first heard that, we were like, hmm, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So next, I kind of just transposed that main synth sound and just an octave lower so it has a little bit of aggression to it. And then after that, I continued layering the synths, just an arpeggiated scale of what we were playing. But it was higher with that same synth and it was like... <laughs> This sound reminded me of like a video game. One of my favorite sounds that my sister used was definitely this choir sound. Mm -hmm. When we add our backgrounds and our harmonies with it, it kind of complements pretty nicely and well. And it yeah. made it feel like church in a way. Yeah. At a cathedral or something. Mm -hmm. No matter how delicate or light the song is, we always add 808s. Always. 808. always no matter what. They just make it feel better. Yeah. I use 808 Warfare a lot. I love the slide 808s because it's not just some simple boom, 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 but it goes like boom, boom, boom. You know, it just adds that extra yeah, bang. The and, heartbeat. Yeah, and kind of gave us that. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's this? Stank on a. It. Like, even though it's a movie song, it can add a little stank on yeah. it. <laughs> so, that's what the 808s help do. The organ just played the same exact parts that the other synths played, but it just added another layer. Classic, but old school. Time to get to the fun part, <laughs> the drums, my favorite part. With our drums, we love to layer. If you just use like one kick and one snare, that's great and all, but we like multi-dimensional. Yes. She's really good at layering. So then the stomps came. And then, because I love to layer my drums, I like it to be very rhythmic. It feels tribal in a way. And I like that because the drums weren't just your typical stomp, clap, stomp, clap. Mm -hmm. Of course, I had to add some hi-hats. There's this transition sound, this like reverse breath. And of course, we had to add some, you know, percussive instruments in there, like the crashes and, you know, this really cool, hey! hey! Miss Ava DuVernay, the director of the movie A Wrinkle in Time, she reached out to our team and she was like, hey girls, I'd love to have a song from you two for this movie. Do you have anything? So, so we sent it off to her. Yeah, the same night. Yes, the same night. She loved the song and she wanted to hop on a call with us. She said, maybe just add something in the verse to make it mm -hmm. you know, feel like cinematic earlier in the song since I'm gonna be using like yeah. a whole minute of it in the film and so it can get to the point. And so beautiful sister here, 
<laughs> thought, oh, cool, I'll just add strings in the first verse so that it feels more dynamic and that it feels like it's building faster. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what she did. It kind of took the song to another place, mm -hmm. even when we already liked it. So that just comes to show you can always make things better. Oh, my darling, I've been missing you for quite some time. So I'm gonna leave the ocean just to see your Yes, I am a warrior. There's no need to war with love. Let go of this glorious. Close your eyes and taste the sun. Whenever my sister and I write the song, we want the song to feel very personal. We don't want it to feel preachy at all. And sometimes inspirational songs can get to preachy, that preachy like, stage. Yeah. But in order to avoid that, you have to speak from your heart. And, and speak to yourself, yeah. I feel like, is what helps. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a gradual buildup of mm -hmm. you telling yourself, like, I can be a warrior. Yeah. Like, yes, I am a warrior. Okay. There's no need to I worry, love. I can do love. this. Yeah, and yeah. just like building up that confidence within mm -hmm. yourself. And I feel like many people can, you know, kind of sit with that and relate mm -hmm. to that and feeling like, okay, here I go. Uh oh, I'm getting there. Someone told us they use it as their workout song. I know, I'm so surprised. I know. <laughs> I never thought of it as a workout song, but all right, do you. Hey.